Shalom. Welcome to 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Neon. I'm Officer Leia. All praises. And today, another beautiful topic that we'll go over is beauty is vain. Beauty is vain. All right. What we see in the world today, the world teaches, teaches that your beauty is what's supposed to be presented. Your beauty makes up you, makes up your personality, makes up everything about you, your beauty for these women especially, all right? You women, beauty don't make you. Beauty, a man is not looking at you for your beauty. They wanna see what's up here, you understand? Let's get 2 Kings 17 and 13 because what you're gonna learn today, sisters and brothers, because brothers, we got brothers out there, you know, like mm. these actors, Shamar Moore and uh, these actors, they, they beauty is vain as well. You understand? Because the world has told them that this is what represents them, right? Their beauty. This is what makes them who they are, all right? But it don't. It don't define you, all right? Let's read that. The book of seven, uh, Second Kings, chapter 17, verse 13. Uh -huh. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments mm -hmm. and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. That's the same thing that we did of old, we're doing today. The same thing. We see this on Vermin Street. We see this on Bill Street. We see this wherever we go throughout these parades and all these things, these bacchanals and all this, that what? People, can, that they care about their beauty, all right? That's what they want you to see, beauty. All right, go ahead. Verse 14. Uh -huh. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hearken their necks like the necks of their fathers mm -hmm. that did not believe in the Lord their God. They what? They're stiff necked and rebellious. That's it. Plain and simple. Go ahead. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them. That's the same thing they did then they're doing today. We reprove them and correct them. They say, the hell with you. I don't want to hear that. All right? I'm going to live my life. All right? Go ahead. And they follow vanity. They follow what? Follow vanity. They follow vanity. Go ahead. And became vain. And became vain. Vanity and vain. We're going to get the definition of that in a minute. Go ahead. And went after the heathen. They went after who? Went after the heathen. Went after the heathen. Today, our people are living in uh, basically making themselves up in the beauty or the standard of who? The heathen. Right. Not God, but the heathen. All right? Because we look like our father. We were made in the image of our father, but we want to look like who? Our oppressor. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And went after the heathen uh -huh. that were round about them, mm -hmm. concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. That we should not do like them. That we should not do like any everything that they do and how they live, we separate from them. Right. Our God separated us in every way you can think of from these nations. All right, because they live in vanity. All right, the money, the cars, all these different things. That's how they live, and they put that spirit. They transfer that spirit to us. All right, the Book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse thirty-one: mm -hmm. Envy thou not the oppressor. And choose none of his ways. The Bible tells us not to envy the oppressor. So when we just read in 2 Kings 17 and 13 through 15, what do we do? We follow the heathen. We follow our enemies. All right. The most I didn't give them his glory. He gave that to us. But we follow in our enemy. The blonde hair, all this, the cumbrellas, everything. All right. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Mm -hmm. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Say choose none of his ways. 
So I'm going to read to you the definition of vanity, all right? It said, excessive pride, it says, in one's appearance or achievements. So these are synonyms. It says conceit, conceited, basically, pride, haughtiness, arrogance, swagger, all right? So this is the spirit that our oppressor has put on us through the videos, through these movies, through the vanity of beauty, all right? the standard that they set on this earth. Sisters, you more and you're worth more than that, all right? So from there, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 3. We're going to see who established that beauty, all right? Where beauty comes from, all right? Who, who, who says what beauty is? Let's read that. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. Mm -hmm. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Mm -hmm. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty have created them. Read it again, the bottom part. For, For the first author of beauty have created them. The first author of beauty. The Most High is the first author of beauty because he created everything. He established what's beautiful to him. You understand? And that's us. <laughs> We're beautiful to our father. Why? Because we're made in his image. You understand? The so-called white man was not made in God's image. All right? He has a plague that's upon him. You understand? And you want to be like that. Yeah. You've lowered your standards, Israel. All right, sisters? So we got to come out of that mindset. Give me the Jeremiah 10 and 16. So the first author of beauty is our father, the God in heaven that created us to say what beauty is. All right? You got it? Yes, sir. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 16. Uh-huh. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Oh, read that again. The portion of Jacob. The portion of Jacob. The 12 tribes, Israel, is not like them. We're not like these other nations. Right. These other nations, they actually want to be like us. <laughs> All right? You see more out putting braids in their hair. Esau putting braids in their hair. Lifting Where did it come from? Where does that come from? It come from us. Right. Because we're the author, all right, the former of beauty. The most high established that beauty with us. All right, go ahead. The portion of Jacob is not like them, mm -hmm. for he is the former of all things. The former of all things. Everything derived and comes from us because God established those things with us, through us. All right? As the scriptures say in, in uh, what about Deuteronomy 4 and 6, all right? Our wisdom, the way we carry ourselves, everything that we have, they want. You understand? And today, what they've done, they've taken our name. They've stolen our name, all right? So how much more than our beauty, all right? So Proverbs 3 and 30. Proverbs 3 and 30, because as we read, beauty, sisters, beauty Beauty is not what makes you. What defines you is what's up here, your mind. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30. Mm -hmm. Fav favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. Favor is deceitful and beauty. You see how they attach both of those together? Right. It's a favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain. Why, do you, why, why is it uh, connected like that? Because sisters get favor because of what? Their beauty. It's vain. A man is only doing something for you because of what? Your beauty. You don't want somebody to do anything for you based off of how you look. You understand? You want it to be because what? What's up in here? Your mind. The way you carry yourself. The dignity that you have within yourself that you express and display through your life. You understand? Not beauty. All right? Go ahead. For favor is deceitful mm -hmm. and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord. That's what a man is looking for. A woman that feared the Lord. A woman that feared the Lord. And the only way you're going to find that is what? You read in this Bible. You get an understanding of the Lord to know what to look for in a woman. You understand? Go ahead. 
But a woman that feareth the Lord, mm -hmm. she shall be praised. She shall be praised. That woman that feareth the Lord. Not that she's all about the beauty. There's nothing wrong with looking beautiful. Scriptures talk about that as well, sisters. That it delighteth your husband's life. It prolongs his life. All right? 21. So from the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. So it's telling you, stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Because it's okay for our sisters to look good, right? But it's a, it's a, that's where the vanity come in at, where now they're going excessive, all right? They're, they're going hard with what the standard of this world has put forth out there, with the Nicki Minaj, the uh, Carly B, Megan Thee Stallion, all this stuff. All these, that's, what, that's their standard of beauty, all right? But it's not God's standard of beauty. God don't like that. God hates that when his sisters are what? Shame, shameless. All right? When they're putting themselves out there. Well, that's why I said favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. All right? Go ahead. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman uh -huh. and desire her not for pleasure. You say desire her not for pleasure. That's what these men are desiring these women for based off of what? How they look. They just want you for pleasure. That's it. For pleasure. But you're greater than that. You're worth more than that. You understand? So from there, let's go to Sirach 10 and 12. You are worth more than that, sisters. All right? Start looking at yourself with value. All right? Don't devalue yourself. That's what these nations have done. They've devalued you. Devalued you. All right? And through everything, the media, the, the movies, all these things, the music of our brothers, right? Mm -hmm. They devalue you because they hate themselves. All right? Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 12. Mm -hmm. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God. Beginning of pride. So that's another spirit of that vanity. Mm -hmm. It puts a prideful spirit on you. You understand? God don't, want, God don't like that. You're not in the spirit. You put a, that puts a prideful spirit on you. Well, now what? You're idolizing yourself. All right, go ahead. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God, mm -hmm. and his heart is turned away from his maker. Your heart is no longer towards your maker. He say beauty is vain and deceitful. All right? Go ahead. For pride is the beginning of sin, mm -hmm. and he that... He that have it shall pour out abominations. Mm -hmm. And therefore the Lord brought up on them strange calamities. That's it. So pride is deceitful. All right. Go to Esther. Esther 1 and 11. All right. We go get an example of pride. All right. This is what the, the spirit of vanity puts on you, sisters. So these are things that to reflect back at. And when you read the scriptures to see how women carry themselves in righteousness and in haughtiness. All right, read that. The book of Esther, chapter 1, verse 11. Mm -hmm. To bring Vashti, the queen, before the king with the crown royal. So Vashti was told to come and see the king. All right. So he can do what? Show her off. Right. But what spirit she was in? We go see. Go ahead. To show the people. And the princess, her beauty. Her beauty. You understand? Beauty is not only on the outside. It's in what? Your characteristics. All right? How you carry yourself. The spirit that you're rolling in. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning what? The, the submission of you to what? Your husband. All right? She, let's, let's see what she did. Go ahead. For she was fair to look on. Mm -hmm. She was beautiful. Go ahead. But the Queen Vashti refused. She what? She refused. So she refused to come to her Lord. So he can what? Show his wife off. She said, no, I'm not coming. <laughs> That's that pride that she had on her. That a lot of these sisters have on them of the vanity of this world. It's a heathen we're talking about, though. Mm -hmm. All right? This is the same spirit that's on our sisters today. All right? Go ahead. But the queen vastly refused to come at the king's commandment mm -hmm. by his chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth, and his anger burned in him. Right, he was pissed off because he the king. Right. He commanded you to come. You know what I'm saying? 
of his request, and you said no. Why? Because your beauty overtook you, and her behind got cast down, and then, you know, our foremother, Sister Esther, came in and did her thing for the nation of Israel. All right, go to Proverbs 8 and 13 real quick, all right? Proverbs 8 and 13. See, the Most High, he understands the mindset of the heathen and the mindset of his chosen, all right? We can change, you sisters can change, and you brothers can change your mindset of thinking like the Gentiles, which is the other nations, to an Israelite. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you have to do. It's a, a repentance process, a change. All right, go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 13. Uh-huh. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. To Pro hate evil. Hate evil. When we read in Kings, we loved evil. We followed after these heathen with, with, with joy. Go ahead. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, uh -huh. pride, and arrogancy, and an evil way, and a forward mouth do I hate. You see that? A forward mouth. That's what Vashini had, a forward mouth. She didn't care how it sounded, how it came out, the disrespect that it shown to all the other leaders that were there. I'm not coming. Because that beauty, the vanity of beauty, all right? So drop that. Go to uh, prop, First Peter 3 and 4. First Peter 3 and 4. We're going to see what beauty looks like. You understand? You sisters and brothers need to understand this is what beauty looks like, all right? Beauty is not on the outside. It's what's inside of you, all right? Go ahead. The book of First Peter chapter 3, verse 4. But let it be the hidden man. The what? The hidden man. The hidden man. The, the, that's what you cannot see. I can't see what's in his brain. I can't see what's in my brain or a brother's brain. It's displayed by what? Their actions. All right? And you understand to say the hidden man of what? The hidden man of the heart mm -hmm. in that which is not corruptible. His mind, which is not corruptible. Her mind, which is not corruptible. Our sisters and brothers' minds have been corrupted, all right, to see what the world has given them of vanity, what looks good to them versus what God looks at. All right, go ahead. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. A meek and quiet spirit. That was, that's not the spirit Vashon had on her, all right? But our foremother Esther, she had that spirit on her, all right? Our foremother Judas, Judith, she had that spirit on her, all right, Rebecca, so on and so forth. This is the spirit you sisters need to embody, all right? Not just how you look on the outside, but what's inside of your mind, your spirit, all right? Was that it on that? No, sir. Go ahead. Which is in the sight of God of great price. This is a great price. This is your value to God, not man. Forget about man, all right? Lord willing, you're doing it the right way, and you're looking towards your husband, and that's the only man that you're to please, all right? Proverbs 31 and 10, all right? This is the value of what? Beauty, all right? It's what's up here, not on the outside. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Who could find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. See that? Her price, your price, sisters, is far above rubies. All right, far of above valuable things, gold, silver. All right, it's far above, above rubies, diamonds. All right, go ahead. The heart of her husband do safely trust in her. Your husband has that safe and trust in you because he understands that you are for him. All right, your beauty is based off of what he wants, how he wants you to look. All right, not what another man how they want you to look, or how sisters want you to look, because that's what a lot of sisters dress up for what? Sisters. Mm -hmm. you, 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 the pride on you and the vanity is, I'm trying to outdo this sister. Mm -hmm. To hear what my husband say, he want me to look like. All right? So, again, that's not, that shouldn't be your mindset, sisters. Your desire should be what? Towards your husband. How what? You may please him. All right, go ahead. So that he shall have no need of spoil. He ain't going nowhere else. Why? Because you're doing the, the things that he desire of you. Go ahead. Verse 12. She would do him good and not evil mm -hmm. all the days of her life. Mm -hmm. 
he knows that you love him and you're here to what? Satisfy him. Right. All right. Go to Sarat 26 and 16. All right. Sarat 26, 16. I pray y'all sisters getting something from this class to understand that it's not the outside. It's the inside, the inner beauty. Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 16. Uh -huh. As the sun when it ariseth in the high heavens, so is the beauty of a good wife. The beauty of a good wife. This is this the characteristics of a good wife. This is the beauty of a good wife. Your actions. Go ahead. So is the beauty of a good wife mm -hmm. in the ordering of her house. The ordering of her house. This is beautiful to the most high and to man. This is what we see as beauty. Not the vanity of how you look on the outside. It's the applications of the scriptures. All right. From there, Titus 2 and 3. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holy, holiness, not false accusers. So it says that they be in behavior. Everything that we read from this bottom thus far is showing you what beauty is comprised of. Beauty is on the inside and exposed or displayed on the outside, all right? And if it's, you're not married, it's toward who? The leadership, all right? Your leadership, the men that's co covering you and watching over you, protecting you, your spiritual side of you, right? Those are the men that should get this type of reverence, all right? Go ahead. Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, mm -hmm. Not false accusers, not given to much wine, mm -hmm. teachers of good things. So it said not given to much wine, teachers of good things. We just read what's good. The beauty that's good in a woman is what? The ordering of a house. You learn these things from the, the elder woman that's among you. You understand? How to love their husbands. This, is, this has to be taught, all right? Because, again, the world teaches you that beauty is on the outside, not the inside, all right? Our sisters don't know how to be women, all right? They want to be seen of men, glorified of men. But remember, sisters, you are not put here for another woman. You were put here for the man, right. to please the man, all right? Go ahead. That they may teach the younger women. So this, is, this has to be taught, all right? The understanding that beauty has to be taught, all right, from our elder sisters among your congregations to yourself. And the process continues on. Go ahead. That they may teach the young women mm -hmm. to be sober. To be sober, because what we witnessed this past weekend was a lot of drunk women, mm. a lot of women in mod uh, immodest apparel, whorish apparel. Why? To be seen of men, using that beauty deceitfully. Right? Go ahead. That they may teach the young women to teach be. Teach the young women. Teach the young women. So, sisters, you have to be taught how to be a woman. Go ahead. Teach the young women uh -huh. to be sober, mm -hmm. to love their husbands. To love their husbands. Go ahead. To love their children. Mm -hmm. To be discreet, chase, keepers at home. To be discreet, chase, keepers at home. This is the spirit that you sisters have to embody. You understand? So I pray that y'all sisters got something from this class. I pray that you go back and meditate on the spirit of our foremothers, how they conduct themselves, and how they love and reverence their husbands. Shalom, Israel. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Captain Naam. I'm Officer Leah. And this has been another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we men repented at heart The scriptures is proof 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.